Angola's rich fossil history is found in desert cliffs along Africa's South Atlantic coast. 134 million years ago, Africa and South America began to pull apart, and the South Atlantic Ocean has been growing ever since. Bones and shells preserved in rock layers show how marine prey and predators moved in and adapted to this new ocean. Millions of years later, forces deep in the earth lifted the rock layers above the ocean, allowing erosion to bring the fossils to light. Progetto Paleoangola is an international group of scientists and students from Angola, the U.S., Portugal, and the Netherlands. Beginning in 2005, this group has been searching the cliffs to piece together the story of Angola's ancient ocean life. Right here was the intertidal zone tens of millions of years ago, where we took the ammonite, it was shallow water, Above that, those layers full of shells were shell banks and shoals. So the changes in the layers of rocks not only tell you about time and about the evolution of organisms, but also about the evolution of environments. If it wasn't for the rock record, we would not understand or even know about the big changes that can occur in the Earth. The timing of the opening of the Atlantic and the dispersal of mosasaurs is very tightly linked. Early in the development of the South Atlantic, you get mosasaurs and turtles coming from the northern areas into the South Atlantic. What makes uh, Bentiaba so incredibly special is the diversity of the mosasaurs and, of course, the amount of fossils, which is absolutely a lot. I don't know any place on Earth except here in Bentiaba, where you can dig bones just doing this. This is the tip of the nose. That's flipped on its side a little bit. Well, as soon as we get this mosasaur out, it'll uh, first travel to the lab. So the next step is the study, and we're going to make uh, casts. So all the institutions involved have copies of the fossil, and then the original will travel back to Angola. Well, this is a relatively complete specimen of Prognathodon kianda, the most complete specimen we've collected thus far. It belongs to a group of mosasaurs closely related to forms that we have in the United States. Students from Angolan universities are an integral part of fieldwork. While learning the geological history of their country, they excavate and plaster the fossils for transport. The fossils are crated and shipped to labs at Southern Methodist University in Dallas, Texas. There, more than a hundred students work to free the fossils from the rock and prepare them for research and display. There's something very satisfying about freeing these fossils from the matrix. We cut them out of the plaster and we're working down from the top of that with some larger tools. It's called an air scribe. It's kind of like a, a handheld jackhammer. Once you get to where the bone is, uh, you switch to hand tools. Who would have thought that a senior studying mechanical engineering would get to work in the paleontology lab? I am actually holding something that was living and breathing millions of years ago. The inner eight-year-old in me is just like thrilled beyond belief. I've been working on the plesiosaur fin. I've worked with making the mold, which is really fun because you get bones and clay. So I think it's just the most awesome thing in the world. We're able to have these bones and present them to people and show them what animals lived on this earth millions of years ago. One of the mosasaurs are actually like these heads of other mosasaurs inside of his stomach. It's just like a really cool mystery to kind of think about. I look at these like pieces of treasure. <laughs> The most recent fossil I've been working on is a brain case of a mosasaur. We have the CT data of it as well. My dream is to be a paleontologist. The more I do it, the more I, the more I fall in love with it. These fossils introduce many people to Angola and help explain our shared global heritage. I am Angolan and these fossils mean a lot to me and my country. I drive along the coast and it's remarkable to know that there is so much there. I'm very excited to see that kids will be able to see that we had this giant beast. 
These fossils will return home to continue educating students of all ages in Angola and around the world. Thank you.